old generator had been connected to the power cable. bad stuff start happening. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> it shouldn't be as fun as it is. Really? Alice? Fish? Honey? guys staying here because I keep saying like settling in. This is in the hotel. Surprise! Alice. Oh crap. What this is just this? this way? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought Bring your pants. right here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice, you everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Okay, that one is. Oh no. Do flashlights work underwater? Keep going. from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Mm. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. 
And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, shoot, 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 shoot. Oopsies. Dude, you're in luck right now. You didn't go off that cliff. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Extra lucky right now. Oops, don't fall off the cliff again, dude. of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh, sounds familiar. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Hmm. What's that symbol mean? So I just got an idea of what the uh, ending might be, but I'm going to keep it to myself. So I know somebody told me that the ending to this is not great, so I'm a little worried about that, but Anybody we'll see. there? Please! I've been in an accident! I don't think that person's going to help you, honey. Right, spirit. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe. Who's littering? Tisk tisk in the middle of a forest at that. I'm guessing this is not the way you're supposed to go. Oh, maybe you're supposed to climb the tree. Oopsies. Hey! 
Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. He liked reference things, don't you? Did you guys get a sponsorship or something? Your Trying Get the latest thing. Incontestably proven health benefit. Let you kill two birds with one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down. Say, Tor. Oh, call for help. There's a phone. Oh, there's a phone. Yes. Oh, Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, I... Hello? Hello? Of course. Of course. What else was going to happen? This is bad. Oh gosh, not ready for this. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rotten season. face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. 
He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Uh, somehow I forgot this was a horror thing. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Hmm. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Okay. I don't particularly want to find out. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. <laughs> I have to find a way to get across, as you're already halfway across. That's probably the gas... gas town? Gas station over there? Oh boy. I'm definitely uh, curious with what's going on. Not sure... Not too sure if I like this or not, though. Oh bloody hell. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. 